Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Uh, thank you for still being with me in this YouTube channel. So in the previous video, you already learned the basic and advanced sketching. So by right, you are now ready to go for the next level in SOLIDWORKS, which is creating a 3D part. Um, in order to create a 3D part, you just need a closed loop sketch and use the 3D features right away. Okay? So that's it. Okay? And the term that you will be familiar in this lesson is basically boss and cut. Okay? So um, you know, boss is when you want to add something and cut is when you want to remove something, okay? So the step is basically the same, okay? Almost the same between the pause and cut. Uh, you know, it is a very simple and easy concept. I'm going to show you later. So now, uh, open SOLIDWORKS and open this new part document. Click OK over here. All right, okay, so in the previous lesson, you have been uh, learning this tool, okay, which is catch, okay? So we have smart di dimension, uh, all of these uh, tools, okay? We have trims, offset, mirror, linear, and move entity, and so on, okay? So um, in order to create a 3D part, okay, we are still going to use this catch tool and one additional tool, which is these features, okay? So by clicking on this tab, you will see plenty of options for these feature tools, okay? So all of these are necessary to create a simple 3D part and or even a complicated one, okay? Uh, as you guys can see, this is the boss tool, okay? And this is the cut tool, okay? So boss, when you want to add something and cut, when you want to remove something, okay? Uh, however, okay, uh, these tools are still unavailable because you don't have any sketch on the SOLIDWORKS, okay? So I'm going to show you in this video, okay, the feature that we commonly use in creating a 3D part. Now, first, in order to create a 3D part, you need to sketch in 2D, okay? So let's say we are going to create a cube of hundreds times, hundreds times, hundreds millimeter. So um, first, we need to sketch the base, okay, which is hundreds times hundred. Um, so uh, let's go, okay, we click on this sketch. Click over here, sketch, and choose, I'm going to choose top plane, okay, right over here. And then we're going to create a rectangle. I'm going to choose center rectangle. Okay, right there. Okay, input the dimension. Okay, hundred over here, and for this side is also the same, hundred. Okay, because we are going to create a cube. Okay. Uh, okay, right now, uh, you have the base. Okay. So now, in order to turn this sketch into three D, okay, you need to ensure that your sketch turns darker region. Okay, for something like this. Okay, uh, which indicates that your sketch is actually in a closed loop. Okay. So uh, once you are done and satisfied with your sketch, click on Exit Sketch. Okay, so over here, I'm still in the dimension mode, so click OK over here and click Exit Sketch. Okay, so now we will utilize these feature tools. Okay, so here we have the Extruded Boss. Okay, so Extruded Boss is basically a tool you use when you want to extend a sketch profile in one or two direction as either a thin features or a solid feature. Okay, something that you want to pull your sketch add some thickness so that it become 3D. So um, just click over here, this extruded boss, okay, and eventually you will see that your sketch now is extruded. Okay, you have some of the thickness over here. Okay, well you can play with this arrow, okay, over here. Okay, drag up and down, okay, upward and downward. Okay, uh, however, to make it more precise, okay, you can input your dimension in this uh, parameters dialog on your left side. Okay, over here. Okay. Uh, which means uh, how much you want to extrude it. Okay? For example, we are creating a cube. So for this D1, okay, direction 1, okay, I'm going to input 100. Okay? So by clicking on this, uh, you know, over here, okay, section, okay, you will see that your sketch okay, eventually, uh, uh, you know, uh, extended into 100 millimeters okay, of the dimension. Okay? So um, there you go. Okay? You have already created your first 3D part. Okay? by clicking this OK and you have your 3D part over here, okay? So um, you can always sketch or I mean you can always edit your sketch by right click on this uh, boss extruder, okay? And click edit sketch, okay? For example, you want to change this dimension, okay? So it's up to you. So let's say you don't want, okay? You just edit sketch, right, okay? So by right clicking on this boss extruder one, okay? If you guys notice, we have edit sketch and we also have edit features, okay? So, for example, you want to modify the size of the feature, okay? So, all you have to do is just click on this edit features, okay? And the parameters will available on your screen, okay? Just like uh, previous, okay? So, let's say I want to change 100 to 200, okay? So, you have your rectangle over here, 
a box, okay, actually like a box, okay. So you can play around with this, uh, what we call this parameters dialog, okay. Uh, let's say I'm going to maintain okay, with 100, okay. Right, okay, so, uh, okay, you will notice this icon over here, okay, which is draft, okay. So if you click on this draft, okay, you know, it will give you a little bit of uh, what we call an angle, okay. So you can actually increase this angle, okay, play around, okay, or you can even reduce the angle, okay, no, okay, up until 1 degree. Okay. Or if you want to change the direction, okay, uh, this one is uh, inward. Okay, so if you want to change into the outward, okay, you can click on this drag outward. Okay, right. okay so it will get bigger. Okay, okay. All you have to do is just play around with the parameter, and uh, you can, you know, gain a little knowledge. You, know, you explore this by yourself. Um, you can even create a pyramid, okay, by increasing this degree, okay, until it have a sharp, you know, sharp corner. Uh, just like in my screen over here, okay. Um, okay, right, this, this, right. So, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, disable this one, okay. Make it 100, okay, there you go. Uh, now, let's create another one, uh, edit features, okay. Uh, you will notice over here we have direction tool, okay. So, if you click this direction tool, okay, you will have the opposite direction of the first direction, okay. This over here, okay. So let's say you still want to create a cube of 100 millimeters, okay. So all you have to do is just divide this direction into two, okay. Divide by two, so we have 50 over here, and we have 50 over here, then click here, okay. And you still have your cube, okay. But for this time, uh, you will see that the sketch is at the center of the cube, okay. So that is when you want to maintain, okay. You want to maintain your sketch in the middle of the uh, features. Right. So that is how uh, you use this extruded boss. Okay. So now, now let's go to this uh, reinforced boss. Okay. So I'm going to delete this one. Okay. Also delete sketch one. Right. Okay. Uh, so this extruded boss. Okay. Is basically uh, when you want to revolve a sketch. Okay. Uh, around an axis. Okay. For example, you want to create a donut. Okay, a donut shape. So, all you have to do is just click on this sketch and then click on sketch. I'm going to choose a uh, front plane. Okay. And then, in order to create a donut, okay, so I'm going to create this circle over here. Okay. And a center line. Okay. This is for the axis, okay? Right. Okay. So, when you want to use this revolve pause or base, okay, you need to have this reference axis, okay? Right. Um, so now I'm going to edit sketch, okay, and then go to these features, okay, and I click on this revolve pause, okay. So click on the features that I want, okay, which is this one, okay. Then you will see, okay, you will see that my features, my sketch actually turns into a donut, okay. So you can always, uh, you know, play around with the direction, okay, direction one, direction two, okay. And for this, uh, you know, 360, if you don't want to have a complete donut, okay, so you can actually uh, edit this uh, degree, okay, make it half, okay, for example, for half, 180, okay, then you have a semi, a donut, semi donut, okay, right. So if you want to have a complete uh, cycle, just hit 360, click OK, then you're good to go, okay, now you have your donut, okay. So that is how you use revolve boss okay All right uh, now let's create uh, this swipe boss okay so i'm going to delete this one sorry okay delete and also delete my sketch All right so uh, this swipe boss okay so it's basically when you want to you know to to extend okay, to extrude uh, your sketch your profile uh, however by using your own path okay uh, I'm going to show you, for example, you want to create something like a, you know, a rope, okay, or a snake, maybe, okay. So, um, okay, all you have to do is the sketch, okay, and I'm going to use this front plane, okay, front plane, I'm going to, uh, you know, to create a circle over here, okay, uh, with a dimension of 50, maybe, okay. And then, uh, we need to create the path, okay, so the path. Okay, the path uh, should be a perpendicular, okay? perpendicular to this uh, sketch. Okay? So perpendicular to this sketch, it will be uh, right plane. 
Okay, so right brain. So I'm going to hit this right brain, catch. Okay, normal two. Okay, so this is perpendicular. Okay, so I'm going to create a spline. Okay, over here, starting from this point. Okay, so I'm going to create a spline. Okay, maybe over here, and over here. Okay, and then I hit this escape button. Okay, so now I have this profile. Okay, and I I have this what we call this this part. Okay, this point. Okay, so just exit sketch. Okay, and go to these features and then click on the swap pause. Okay, and you will see on this parameter you have two. Okay, so the first one is you have to click on your profile, and the second one is your path. Okay, so click on this do, and you know what? Click on your profile. Okay, and click on your path. Okay, so you will see that your sketch, your profile, okay, will be extended. Okay, following the path that you create. Okay, so. Just click OK over here and there you go. Okay, you already created your what we call this uh, a rope. Okay, a rope maybe. Okay, so by using this swap boss. Okay, right. So uh, this lofted and boundary balls, uh, you know, we not really using this uh, option. Okay, but you can, you know, you can try on your own. Okay, try to figure out how, you know, how this uh, tools function. Okay, but I'm gonna, I'm not going to show you. Okay, you can try it on your own. Okay, um, so now. Uh, I'm going to delete this one. Okay. Right. Okay. So now let's, uh, you know, uh, focus on this cut uh, tools. Okay. So you remember, okay, boss is when you want to add something. Okay. Eventually, you just add something. Okay. And cut is when you want to remove something. Okay. So uh, when you want to cut something, okay, it's basically you need to have something first. Okay. Right. Okay. So uh, let's create a cube. Okay. So let's create a cube. I'm going to choose uh, you know this top plane over here. Okay, center. Okay, with a dimension of two hundred. Okay, it should be okay. Um, right over here. Okay, and then uh, exit sketch. Okay, and then use features. And then I'm going to extrude first. Okay, so click this extrude boss and I'll go two hundred. Okay. Or maybe have a hundred. Okay, should be okay. Okay. Right. So we have a box over here. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to create a hole. Okay, a hole over here. Okay. So all you have to do is just click sketch. Okay, and then click on which surface that you want to sketch. Okay. So I'm going to create a hole over here. So I'm going to sketch on this surface. Okay, this plane. Okay. So just click over here and click uh, normal two. Okay. So I'm going to uh, you know. Create a circle over here. Okay, a hole. Okay. So a dimension of maybe around 50. Okay. Then exit sketch. Okay. And then go to this feature and click on this extruded cut. Okay. So click over here. So it is basically the same as extruded boss. Okay. You have this direction one. Okay. You have uh, your your dimension. Okay. And then this uh, what we call this draft. Okay. And then direction two of course. Okay. So you can eventually. Uh, you know, edit this or modify your uh, thickness, okay, or your direction, how much you want to create the hole, okay. Uh, so let's say I'm going to create just a little tiny hole over there, okay, and then I click OK over here. Then you have your, you know, something like a hole, okay. Right, so let's try to, now you see over here, okay, you have two now, okay. So one is the boss and one is the cut, okay, so this is your, your tree profile, okay, over here. Okay, so let's say I'm going to edit these features. Okay, so right click on this cut extruded and then edit features. Okay, so let's say I don't want uh, 10. Okay, so let's say 100. Okay, so click OK. Okay, so you will see that uh, it is up till this end. Okay, because we have this, uh, you know, this box with a uh, 100 thickness over here, 100 height. Okay, so when we have a hole with 100, okay, so I click OK over here. And you have your hole is actually uh, you know through all okay right okay so that is how you use this extruder cut okay uh, you know I'm going to modify okay edit feature right okay so let's say okay let's say that you don't you know you you don't know uh, uh, what we call your thickness of this box okay so let's say uh, this dimension is uh, you know unknown 
okay so eventually you can use this uh, you know these features okay so blind is you know according to what uh, you know what, what what dimension that you, in, you input okay so if you use this true all okay, it will you know it will uh, make a hole extra the card okay until the whole of your features okay, your existing feature over here okay so if i click okay over here then it will be the same as you create a hole using blind with 100 millimeter dimension okay so it's just the same okay but through all means you know uh, you go through all of your features okay right so that is how you create a hole okay using extruder cut okay so um, let's say i want to cut this side okay so i'm going to sketch over here let's sketch over here right click normal tool okay i'm going to make uh, you know a cut over here okay so all i have to do is just click this center uh, sorry corner rectangle Right. then create a rectangle from this point up until here okay right so exit sketch okay uh, it doesn't matter with the dimension okay so use this feature and okay extrude it cut okay so you will see that your you know your your sketch okay is being extruded cut okay so if i choose through all then it will go up until the end of this existing features okay if i use blind then i need to input this uh, dimension okay so let's say 80 okay then there you go okay so this is how actually uh, you know uh, on how you are going to use this solid works okay so you need to do the you know the sketch one by one okay so extrude the whole okay uh, you know the whole item the, the whole product and then add details and so on okay so one by one okay step by step right okay so i'm going to uh delete this one okay wait uh oh, wizard rip off card okay uh, i'm not going to show you this rip off card uh, swap okay lofter okay so basically rip off card is just the same as rip off boss okay uh, right okay and also a distract card okay so you need to have your profile and your path then you're good to go okay right so that is for extruder card right okay so basically uh, these are the items that uh, we use frequently okay when we want to uh, you know to make product okay or a component okay extruder boss rebuff boss okay swap boss and then uh, extruder card okay so um, now you will see over here uh, we have a fillet okay so we have a fillet over here um, fillet is actually uh, the same that we, you know, the one that you have learned in the previous lesson. Okay, we have fillet and also chamfer, but for now, okay, for this lesson, it's actually in a 3D mode. Okay, so if you want to use this fillet, okay, so you just click on this fillet, okay, and then click on the item that you want to fillet. Okay, for example, over here, okay, this side, okay, so click on this side, okay, and you can increase your, you know, your radius and click OK, and then you have your fillet. The same if you want to use the chamfer okay so click chamfer and click on you know whatever uh, age and uh, that you want okay for example over here okay and you know you can always uh, okay modify these uh, parameters okay or maybe you want to choose okay uh, this one okay you can try to explore on your own okay right okay 45 degree you don't want 45 okay you can uh, simply increase this one okay right over here okay i'm going to maintain with 45 okay and 13 millimeters and click okay over here then you're good to go okay so now you have your fillet and also your chamfer okay um right okay so let's let's just delete this one okay uh oh we are just create a new document all right okay, so save create a new document okay right okay so now we are in a new document right 